Patrick Mahomes threw 50 touchdown passes last year. That's tied for the second most ever for a single season and a big reason why he won the MVP. But the Jaguars were the only team Mahomes didn't throw a touchdown against. Mahomes will change that in a hurry in the season opener. First offensive drive, third and three, and Mahomes hits Sammy Watkins, who breaks a tackle, makes a nice cut, and he's off to the races. There's no catching him. Watkins in for a 68-yard touchdown. 7-0 Chiefs as Mahomes loves it. Later in the first quarter, Mahomes would complete a pass to Tyree Kill, but here Hill injures his collarbone and would head to the hospital. More tests still need to be done, but ESPN's Adam Schefter reporting that Hill won't need surgery for his collarbone injury, but could miss a few weeks. So some Chiefs wideouts needing to step up the rest of the game, and Watkins certainly did. He's wide open right here, one of the easiest touchdowns for the MVP Mahomes. This one going for 49 yards. Mahomes finishes with 378 passing yards and three touchdowns, all of them going to Watkins who had nine catches and 198 yards. Mahomes played most of the game with an ankle sprain, but says he's just fine as the Chiefs win the opener 40-26. More football, Mizzou dominated West Virginia winning the home opener 38-7. Unlike the loss against Wyoming, where the Tigers were outgained on the ground by 183 yards, Mizzou controlled the line of scrimmage against West Virginia. The Tigers had 232 rushing yards compared to just 30 for the Mountaineers. Kelly Bryant also had three touchdown passes in the win, two of them going to his All-American tight end, Albert O. But Bryant left early because of heat exhaustion. Nick Bolton came up big with two interceptions, including this pick six right here as the Tigers won their turnover battle 3-0. Mizzou's back at home next Saturday night and hosts SEMO at 6.30. On the baseball with three weeks to go in the regular season, the Cardinals are starting to pull away from the Cubs in the NL Central. St. Louis now is a four and a half game lead. Jack Flaherty has been a big part of that. He's got a 0.76 ERA since the All-Star break. Flaherty strikes out 10 and throws eight scoreless innings against the Pirates. The offense did just enough in the fifth. Harrison Bader singles home Matt Carpenter for the first run. Paul Goldschmidt adds an RBI double in the sixth. St. Louis wins 2-0, taking two out of three against the Pirates. The cards are off today, but back on the field Tuesday night in Colorado against the Rockies. The Royals lose 9-0 at the Marlins and can't complete the three-game sweep, but have a great day, everyone.